bananas. First one murdered. Were you surprised? And did you have any guess on who the traitors might be? No and no. Uh, I, listen, I, I part of me was thinking it could have been Marcus and Larsa because I like that. I know. Here, here's the only reason why though is because when I proposed that idea to you guys in the car, I was like, what if it's one of you? And Bro. then you murdered the other ones. And I was thinking, oh, maybe I was on to something and they killed me because I was, I was questioning everyone. I, I, I was never. like, Alan probably, I was like, Alan probably f murdered me for stealing his gold bar. So I didn't know at, at the time. However, I, and that's another thing. They murdered me right away. And they were asking me in my exit interviews, they were like, do you have any idea who did this? And I'm like, I have not a clue. So right. I feel like the traders gave me more credit than I deserve. Yes, I'm good at competition shows, but this is a whole different style of show. And I've said this before and I'll say it again. I think the traders weren't necessarily uh, threatened by me as a competition in the show. I think they were more threatened by me as like a competition to like the camera time and the entertainment value because they brought none of that to the screen. Anyone that did, they wanted to get rid of. I wouldn't change what I did at all. People are like, oh, would you wish you would have went in and, and, and not done so much? I'm like, okay, had I not, I was still going home regardless. I could have went into that castle, sat in the corner and read the Bible the entire time, okay? And I still would have been the first one gone. So no, I wanted to go in and I'm like, if I'm gonna go down, I wanted, you know, go down in flames. So that was kind of, yeah, My well, plan. fair. That's the banana's way. I was like, I don't want to be a traitor. I'm not a very good liar. Please don't make me a traitor. Really? Yeah, yeah. So what were you thinking when you got recruited and you saw Phaedra and Dan? Were you like, this is great. This is a fun little combination. Were you like shocked? What were your thoughts when you saw that that's who you were going to be working with? So I didn't watch Big Brother. I don't know who Dan is. And um, I only knew of Dan through like conversations that I had with Janelle in the castle once I had arrived. And she was saying that Dan's the best Big Brother player of all time. So, and I see Phaedra and Phaedra is just the queen of the house. And she's so adored and so funny and such a character. I'm like, this is a dynamic duo because he's got the strategy mind and she's got the charisma and she's sort of the smoke screen. So I felt like I was a good addition to that because I'm kind of a wild card and I can sort of navigate through different groups really. So I thought that, yeah, we would, we would work together really well. Peppermint, what was going on with the word slip ups? What was going on with, with uh, Trishel? What happened here? I, I have no idea. Um, yeah, I, you, you know more than me at this point. Uh, yeah, I, I, the word slip up was a word slip up. I mean, obviously I wasn't a traitor if you watched the episode. So it clearly was, a, and I definitely wasn't like, let me tell these people I'm a traitor. Um, you know, so it was just a word slip up. I was feeling my back against the wall and for the, you know, I went from a, a moment in time where like, in one instance, if you obviously watched the episode, I was voted apparently in the superlatives most popular player in the game. And that day, no one talked to me. Like it was like cold shoulder from everybody, which kind of clued me off, but that made it really difficult to try to have a conversation with people. And so I was feeling um, really sort of, you know, just abandoned and not really, like people were like, you're done. We, we, because of what Trishal said, you're done. We don't want to hear what you have to say. We don't want to have to connect with you. And that was really um, tough in the very first few moments of the game, mm -hmm. you know? And so that's what happened. With Rochelle, I don't know, we're gonna have to ask Rochelle because her recollection of whatever went on is completely different than mine. Uh, I do feel like she botched me a little bit and sort of sabotaged me, but that's the name of the game. I was hoping she was a traitor. Dan, obviously we see you get picked to be a traitor and you're kind of trying to, you know, keep it cool, be a little quiet. And then by episode three, maybe people are catching on to you. Um, tell me about that strategy and do you have to change it a little bit? Yeah, yeah, you know, heading into this game, you know, you don't get to determine whether you're faithful or a traitor. And I just really wanted to play as a traitor because I just didn't want to sit on the sidelines. You know, I've been sitting for 10 years. I wanted to go and mix it up. Um, so I was definitely very eager and excited to play. But throughout this game, I realized, you know, I'm used to playing chess and this is more like poker. So I got to figure out how to adjust my strategy because um, at episode three, it's starting not to work.
Um, you <laughs> and Phaedra get to recruit a trader, and you obviously go with Parv, which was very exciting. Any thoughts about getting your big brother, a friend Janelle, over there in the mix? How did yeah, you guys make that yeah, choice? Yeah, no, that was it. Was definitely. Um, I wanted to recruit Parvati early because she had a little bit of heat up on her and also because like I want to make a show the fans want to see and like when when am I ever going to get a chance to work with the Black Widow and in a weird way it was exciting and scary because I know how dangerous she is I felt like she's kind of like the female version of me like you trust her but then also you're bringing her into the den and you can get stabbed in any second. So I wanted to bring her in to see if we could somehow find a way to work together. And, and um, but it was it was scary at times for sure.